I'm sure this happens to you. Once you start eating ice cream, don't you feel like you could eat the whole carton or maybe polish off that second deluxe cheeseburger? It turns out there is a medical explanation for binge eating. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton saw this study and said, wait a minute, I, this happens to and me. This happens to me, exactly, Maggie. It's no surprise that foods high in saturated fat make us overweight. But now researchers at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center have found that certain facts, fats interact and actually change the brain chemistry. Our body is designed to know when we've eaten enough, but new research suggests that certain fatty foods like ice cream and hamburgers short circuit the brain's ability to know when it's time to get up from the table. When we eat a diet that's high in saturated fat, our brains no longer are able to register when we're full. Dr. Deborah Clegg found that when lab rats were given saturated fats, they lost their ability to properly limit their food intake. She says the same happens in humans. We believe that the brains are, of, of humans are getting exposed to these fatty acids and therefore the brains are no longer sensitive to hormones that regulate food intake and body weight. When we eat a healthy diet, our pancreas and our fat cells send hormones that act as signals to the brain, telling us to stop eating. But when we consume foods high in saturated fats, our brain can't process the signals, causing us to overeat. The study should definitely make us think more about the effects of fats and what they do not only to other parts of our body but specifically to the brain. Researchers say it can take anywhere from three to five days for the brain to wash out those saturated fats and start responding properly to the weight regulation hormones again, Maggie. So tell us again, what type of foods are these fats found in? This study in particular found that palmitic acid, which is a type of saturated fat, which again, we should be avoiding anyway, is most associated with this effect. So a lot of things that are solid at room temperature, pizza, meats, dairy, all the mm. things that we like to eat and shouldn't be eating in excess quantities probably contain palmitic acid. Which means we may have a hard time stopping once we exactly, start. So exactly. So what, what can we do about it? Well, you have two choices. Either eat less of the foods that are high in the saturated fat, or if you just can't stop yourself like me, I can't eat less than three slices of pizza at a time, then you need to compensate the next day and make sure you're eating extra low calorie, low fat foods, because again, it's all in versus out. You have to balance. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, Jen. You